Good morning, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here talking about music and life with everyone. Had there not been the medium of art, we would have never been able to express what we cannot say through words. Art is the backbone of society. If we try to imagine a world without the art forms, be it music, painting, sculpture, anything, the probably, probably world would be deprived of creativity, beauty, and human expression. Music is perhaps the first language human beings knew, much before words came into existence. And music has always existed in nature as a part of our being. If we see, we can hear music everywhere around us in nature, in waterfalls, and through any sounds. Even our heartbeat has a rhythm. So music is a universal language which transcends all boundaries of culture, religion, and language. And that is why it can communicate to everyone through the pure medium of sound. Indian classical music is today one of the most respected forms of music around the world. And owing to its complex and highly versatile nature, it has gained popularity specifically in the West in the past five decades. People in the West uh, have always been fascinated by its meditative nature and its quality that most of the music is spontaneously improvised on the stage. This is something that has always captivated Western listeners about Indian music. And when people ask me, what is it that is special about Indian classical music, especially the younger generation, I always tell them, if you want to listen to a form of music which can give you something beyond entertainment, then you have to listen to Indian classical music. Because this music can take you on a higher level of consciousness and take your mind to a space where you can go beyond yourself. This is the message behind Indian classical music. And in today's session, I'll be sharing a few insights on this wonderful and so rich heritage that has been ruling the hearts of people all around the world. So I'll be talking about my journey and sharing a few insights into Indian classical music. So this is the sarod. The sarod is a 25-stringed instrument, and uh, it has a metallic fingerboard, and it is considered one of the toughest instruments in Indian classical music because the fingerboard does not have any marks or frets for the musical notes. It is uh, by sheer practice that one can gain control over all these notes. And uh, a little bit about my journey, like I uh, personally do not come from a family of musicians, and uh, when people ask me how did I end up uh, making this music my life, well, it was the sheer power of this music that fascinated me since childhood. And uh, once I started listening to it, I thought like there was no turning back. This was the power of music, and I feel that music, uh, because most of, most of us see music as a form of entertainment, but beyond than that, Music is a way of life. It's a way of self-realization through which you can uh, take yourself to a much higher level of consciousness and you, you can get to know so much more about life and it changes the way you see life. So this is the beauty of classical music. So uh, to begin today's session, I'll be playing a beautiful rag known as Bhairvi. Uh, in Indian classical music, we have ragas, uh, for different times of the day, and each rag has a unique ascending and descending scale and has a particular mood. So I have chosen to play for you Rag Bhairvi. So Indian classical music is usually played with percussion. So for today's session, I'll be having Shalendra Mishra ji accompanying me on tabla. So I would like to welcome him to join me on the tabla, Shalendra ji. So these 25 strings have to be tuned according to the rag or the melody that we are playing. and. Uh, in order to produce the best of music, they have to be continuously kept in tune. So thank you for your patience while we tune. And that's a regular feature when we play. And also the sarod is played with the tip of the fingernails. So you would often see uh, musicians filing their nails because that is a part of their music. And if you don't file, we will not be able to give you the best of the sound. So that's just to produce the best sound.
I'll be playing Rat Bharvi with a composition in Teen Tal, rhythmic cycle of 16 beats. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> so I just have to say that if you have complete commitment towards your passion or towards your goal in life, then nothing can stop you. There will be a lot of hurdles. People will say a lot of things if you have chosen to follow an unconventional path. But once you have commitment towards anything, then there's no one to stop you. So wishing you all the best for whatever you do in life. Thank you. <laughs>